Hey everybody, Dr. Dane, and I want to talk to you about a very important topic, and that is inflammation. And you know, inflammation is an effect of an underlying cause of disease in the body or damage to the body. So there's two types of inflammation in the body. There's what's called acute inflammation, and acute inflammation is just that. It's acute. It lasts for a few days. I sprain my ankle. I tear some tissue. The body's going to heal itself. And that's not the type of inflammation that I really want to address. There's really not much that you can do for acute inflammation other than ice it and make sure the tissues repair properly. The type of inflammation that I want to talk about is what's called chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is more long-standing inflammation. And the reason this is so critical is that we learned that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, the reaction may be the inflammation, the chronic inflammation, but the underlying action is this chronic inflammation is going to eventually lead to disease in the body because inflammation is damage in the body. And if it's there long-standing, it's gonna reproduce disease in the body. And inflammation, chronic inflammation, is linked to all kinds of chronic disease. Things like heart disease, that's right, inflammation in your blood vessels can lead to arteriosclerosis, it can lead to a hardening of the arteries, it can lead to heart attacks and strokes. How about diabetes? Inflammation has been linked to diabetes. How about depression? Inflammation, high C-reactive protein inflammation in your blood has been linked to things like anger and depression. How about other things like bone loss? Inflammation is actually linked, high cytokines, which is what inflammation is, has been linked to loss of bone mass. So inflammation truly is the trigger for a lot of chronic disease. Now when we talk about inflammation, if we want to minimize the amount of inflammation, and inflammation causes all kinds of problems, it causes pain, it causes aching. When you're inflamed, you're going to know about it because you're going to feel that inflammation in the body because things are swollen and they're red. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean that you're not having inflammation uh, in your body. So we have to talk about two things with inflammation. First of all, what do we need to eliminate? Okay. We need to eliminate. What do we need to eliminate? The big one for me is sugar. Sugar is a very big cause of inflammation. It causes all kinds of problems, increases insulin. When we secrete more insulin, so we're more in a sympathetic, a dominant uh, fight or flight state. When we're in a fight or flight state, we're much more vulnerable to inflammation in the body. So we wanna eliminate uh, sugar, we wanna eliminate stress. Stress triggers our sympathetic nervous system. So long st standing stress, causes inflammation in the body. So these are, to me, these are the two big culprits. We also want to eliminate chemicals in our food. There's a lot of things like uh, chemicals that are unnatural. And these would be things like hydrogenated oils, uh, additives and preservatives, all the chemicals that we're exposed to, the body doesn't recognize those chemicals. And so the body, a lot of times, if they're foreign chemicals or foreign proteins, the body is going to uh, do what it does and it's going to elicit an immune response and part of that immune response is inflammation. So if it's foreign to the body, if you're taking something into the body that's not natural, right? It's not a natural fat, it's not a natural protein, it's not a natural chemical, and the body doesn't recognize it, the body is going to go into an inflammatory healing immune response. When that is sustained over a long period of time, that's when you get into trouble. Now what do we need to add if, we're, if we are inflamed? What we need to add if we're inflamed is, first of all, we need to decrease stress meditate, right? Get adjusted. These are things that are going to downregulate the nervous system. When the nervous system is excited, it's more in an inflammatory state. When the nervous system is downregulated, it's not as facilitated, the nervous system is going to be more in a healing state. It's going to be able to deal with the inflammation. So meditation. I meditate 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes every single day. Getting adjusted. I get adjusted every single week. Exercise, which dissipates stress in the body. These are all great things that we want to add. The other things are foods, right? There are certain foods that are very healing when it comes to inflammation. And these would be things like turmeric. The spiced turmeric is wonderful for inflammation. Uh, your, your things like onions, garlic, uh, berries that are loaded with antioxidants. Uh, your good oils like coconut oil, right? These are all foods that are uh, really help to resolve inflammation in the body. So again, the more we can keep our diet raw, less cooked, less processed, the more we're gonna deal with inflammation in the body. So this is Dr. Dane, I want you to just think about this, your chronic inflammation, if you're tired all the time, if you're aching, if your joints are, are hurting, if you have leaky gut, right, where you're, these large proteins are leaking through your, your large intestine and back into your blood uh, stream and your body is attacking that with inflammation, you're gonna have these symptoms and they can be cleared up with a, with a lifestyle that includes chiropractic care, uh, meditation, 
uh, eating healthy, drinking more water, all the things that are obvious, but just remember, common sense isn't common practice. You need to learn if you're inflamed, and if you are, you need to get busy healing that inflammation before it causes chronic disease in your body.